Hey everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the 15 best Shopify themes for clothing brands. With so many themes to choose from, I know it can feel completely overwhelming trying to decide which route to go when building your online clothing boutique. And my goal here is to hopefully make that process a little bit easier by sharing my real thoughts on some of the most popular options. So I have selected 15 different themes that seem to dominate the best for clothing stores categories lately. We'll be taking a look at each theme's live demo preview together and then give my honest ranking or review. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Starting off with Prestige. This one has been a very popular mainstay theme and for good reason. Loading up the demo preview, everything just looks and feels very sleek and high-end. I can see why they chose to focus this around leather bags, accessories to lean into that luxurious vibe. My only slight problem with Prestige is that it may lend itself better towards boutique shops specializing in things like handbags or jewelry rather than the full apparel lines. But for the right merchant, this elegant powerhouse undoubtedly delivers. Coming up, we have the color block theme. This one comes as one of the Shopify's free theme options. And judging by the screenshots of the themes, this seems to be attempting something more vibrant and geometric. But in my opinion, the shapes and colors just feel randomly tossed together. So even though it's a free option, in my opinion, this is not one of the best options that you can go for. If I were to classify it, I would put it in a D tier, unfortunately, and hopefully Shopify continues refining this one. And speaking of the free Shopify options, next up, we have the Dawn option. The Dawn theme, in my opinion, understands the assignment. It's very fast, clean, and incorporates all the features a new clothing merchants could need without overcomplicating things, and that's the number one thing that I love about the Dawn theme. On top of that, you have so much dedicated education around effectively using this theme across blogs, YouTube, etc. Tons of customization guidance exists. And while maybe it's not as stylistically complex as paid options downstream, Dawn absolutely delivers and I classify it into the A tier range for me in terms of balancing ease of use with flexibility. Up next, we have Upscale. I believe this one falls into the newer on the scene theme bucket. So visually speaking, this theme is amazing. Every subtle animation and gradient makes Upscale pop off the screen feeling so modern and cutting edge. In my opinion, this is very unique stylistic vibe. So for fresh themes like this that likely haven't fully caught on yet, I want to give a proper credit for creativity and vision. And that's why Upskill in my opinion ranks in the B class with so much potential to climb higher in the future. Up next, we have the Canopy theme. This one looks to be more of a tenured OG status kind of theme. And at a surface level, it actually seems almost basic relative to the visual appeal of say Upskill before it. However, the more I look into it, the more Canopy delivers extremely tasteful photography, content and design arrangements, even if not the flashiest. You could see the styling fitting perfectly for certain elevated clothing niche markets and solely for having identifying characteristics and likely still boasting strong adoption. I would say this one is also classed in the B class territory as a totally solid legacy option. Moving on, we have the stiletto theme. This one looks to be a relative up and comer. I really love how they implemented the styled out product tags. It feels very dynamic and engaging while scrolling the pages. You've got strong customization potential there. And by pushing style boundaries with elements like that, I commend Stiletto for striving towards more risk-taking innovation compared to safer kind of options, making it actively stand out. This one definitely takes its place in the A tier. Moving on, we have the warehouse theme. I can visualize some context where this works, but Warehouse gives me instant, no frills, Amazon filler kind of vibe. It kind of does the job, I suppose, but without any consideration for experience. And for true clothing shops, though where branded lifestyle immersion matters way more, Warehouse sadly misses the mark falling a little bit soulless to me. I don't want to overly criticize those taking more simplistic approaches, but this one really doesn't do it for me, so I would put it in the C class. I wouldn't say it's ideal for most apparel merchants. The eighth theme that we have for this list is the fashionableism theme. Attempting to get back on track with this one next, and given the name, hopes to speak directly to clothing lines I imagine. And pulling up the preview though, I would say this one is too generic for a clothing brand or kind of theme. There is not that much fashionable creativity in there, and it looks really basic for the price that it's stated at. So in my opinion, this is not one of the best options that you can go for if you're trying to stand out and have some creativity to your site. I would place this one in the D tier. Shifting gears into something exciting, we have Motion. This one is aptly named because subtle animations abound in flowing transitions that feel fresh. And what could initially seem gimmicky actually helps Motion stand out a lot if applied thoughtfully. 
I could see pairing fluid motion elements with say at leisure apparel perfectly. And with the butcher shop simple name and design alignment, no wonder that motion boasts strong popularity adoption as well. I would definitely place this one in the upper A tier. Moving on we have the sunrise theme. And this one just stings by previewing it, it's very outdated in my opinion and nobody should be using this anymore. Especially after previewing so much creativity before this theme. I can't imagine myself recommending this to audiences or people watching this video, so it definitely goes into the D tier for me. Moving up next, we have the impulse theme. Sometimes overwhelmingly popular themes actually retain that status for good reason despite the overuse. And impulse to me still delivers quality in spades. This one is really well crafted, sure some overdo it, but still great art direction. And for maintaining benchmark design leadership, impulse holds strong in that A tier territory as expected. Overflowing with ideas merchants can selectively build from rather than just cookie cutter copy. The 12th theme on this list, we have the origin theme. This one is another Shopify free theme and it goes for minimalism but misses the mark for me, landing pretty dull and uninspiring. I'm not going to fully discredit a blank canvas state allowing open customization but for clothing visuals matter immensely. And Origin in this niche lacks identifiable personality completely unfortunately. I realize that likely stems from templated generic status by nature allowing modification freedom. But in its current bare form, it goes to the degrade. It's just not really enough to run a clothing store right away. Moving up in the list, we have the symmetry theme. We always have heard about the popular symmetry theme which offers exactly what the name implies. Balanced beauty through simplicity. And no wonder symmetry boasts such adoption as it provides neither blandly boring nor chaotically overstimulating but rather just right. And that hard to find equilibrium between feature rich functionality, abundance and delicate design explains why so many flock towards symmetry. In my opinion it covers all needs serving up wide appeal right in that A tier kind of class. Going to the 14th theme on the list we have Icon. This one has a semi minimalist kind of foundation provided allowing merchants incredibly creative control. Icon truly stands out to me as a more of a vessel guiding design than rigidly imposing visual mandates. And that freedom comes with responsibility not drowning individualism of course. But smart practitioners will appreciate empowerment crafting tailored experiences not restricting brand expression. So for enabling vision rather than confining it, this one earns its place in the B tier. Wrapping up, we have the 15th theme for today's video, launch. I can see launch striking accessibility and speed goals valuing function first. And this one checks off every base need while allowing room to build your own brand layering on top. It has a no judgment kind of approach and conditionally accepting all use cases. And for that versatility welcoming all vision types, launch in my opinion earns its place in the B tier. It's a reliable theme that lets your uniqueness shine instead. And that will be a wrap for today's video, thank you so much for watching. Let us know what your favorite theme is in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed today's video then let us know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow up content that we can make related to this one.